Johnson Reed. I'm from Ponderosa Middle School. I'll be playing Bore by GF Handel. And my, uh, what's this called? <laughs> Accompanist. Accompanist. That was it. Mr. Hackinson. <laughs> against us on the bow. Think about violin players. They have gravity pulling their bow right down into their instruments. It's a million times easier to use the bow on a violin or viola than it is the cello or bass. Because we always have gravity kind of pulling the bow off the strings. And what your hand does is the distance between the fingers is fine. Some kids have goofy distances. Your, your shape is good, but your hand slides forward. And maybe you were a little too nervous to notice. But it, yeah, it just, it slid forward. Just, I can't even put my fingers small enough. Just enough so that certain notes, they just were really out of tune. So let's find the notes. To play in tune, you gotta have a, your cello has to ring when you play, like, fourth finger on the D string. What's the name of that note? 
G. G. And you have an open G string, right? So you know that fourth finger is going to be in tune where you can hear your cello ring and it'll make the G string actually start to vibrate if you're right in tune. So let's experiment with that a little bit, okay? Play fourth finger on the D. Is your G string vibrating? Pull your bow off the string. You hear it ringing? Did you hear the G ring afterwards? Do it again. Now you can hear it ringing, right? Okay, let's try fourth finger on the G string. You have to pull your bow off the string so we can hear the string ring. Dead. Did you touch it with your finger by accident? That means your fourth finger's not in the right place. Or your C string's out of tune. But play your open C. No, that's good. We, that should ring. Let's get our fourth finger and make that string ring. Lower. Lower. Did you hear that? Yep. Now, which way did your hand get out of tune? Just then, felt this way, didn't it? Jeez. Am I a good teacher? Am I a good teacher? No. <laughs> Do you see what happened? That's what your hand does. And it's rare. It's just rare to have your hand go back too far. So that's like the number one thing for you to concentrate on. Keeping that right in place and then uh, making sure that it stays right there and listen for the ringing. You want to? We have a couple minutes. Do you want to just start again? Now that you're listening, and you're going to listen for all that. Oh, check the note before you start. Make sure you have the ring. Not good enough. That was better, wasn't it? Okay. fourth finger on the G string. Were you listening for it? That was pretty good. When you reached over to the A string, your fingers fell forward. Try and keep your hand all opened up. Okay? Do Start one more time. listen and you have a bad habit of falling this way it just it just happens um, did you have anything on that where's your thumb where is it imagine your thumb going straight up is it right in between your first and second finger or is it behind your first finger where is it okay that's exactly where it ought to be that's really good sometimes with some of my students I just uh, glue on a little piece of felt right where the thumb should be and so they all they never let their thumb move off of that that might be something you could try for a little while and so you get used to that your hand just wants to go towards the floor a little bit and we got to, you need to fix that I know you can you got no problem fixing that okay thank you very much it's a very nice place